You sift through the pile of weapons down in the pit. Unfortunately, because Kazazel didn't want the pitmongers blowing holes in his ship, explosives and power weapons were generally confiscated or claimed by other crew members. Couldn't really blame him. You'd hate to guess at what your survival chances would have been if your compatriots down below had been throwing plasma grenades around. You managed to grab a combat knife, small enough to conceal if necessary. You also grab yourself a chain sword as your primary melee weapon. For ranged weapons, you pick through the pile, looking for bolt weaponry. Near the bottom of the weapon stash, you see an old, beat-up bolt pistol. Unfortunately, you only find two or three empty bolt magazines. You pocket the bolt pistol, hoping that one day you might be able to get it fixed up and find proper ammunition for it. You acquire a LAS pistol as your sidearm, and grab a long LAS as your primary ranged weapon. As you go through the hand-me-down armor and clothing, you decide that practicality is your primary concern. Beginning with armor, you take a look at what's left. Most of the highly valuable armor is not available. You reason that if crew members had power armor available to them, they'd either use it or sell it. No reason to put it in a junk box. You find plenty of sets of flak armor that you decide to set aside for the moment. You're looking for anything of higher value. Eventually, you find it. A carapace chest piece. This one looks like it's seen quite a bit of action, as it is sporting more than one Laz Scorch. It's possible the previous owner even died in it. Still, a bit more protection for your core is invaluable. You decide to pass on the Commissar coat inside, as it is more than a little flashy and definitely draws the eye. A more drab trench coat is just as useful at concealing a plethora of weapons while not being too conspicuous. You also acquire a pair of sturdy canvas trousers and a dark shirt. You grab the appropriate undergarments and make sure you have enough sets of clothes to last you for a while. You make a note to acquire something a bit fancier later in case you're going to end up needing something for a more formal setting. You gather all of your things into a footlocker, which you drop off in your room. It's a simple thing. Little more than a bed and enough space to get dressed. It's an upgrade from waking up with stasis sickness in a room full of psychotic mutants only to be shoved into a chaotic riotous melee, but there's definite room for improvement. Once your things are stowed in your room, you head to the bathroom for your first shower in recent memory. The water is invigorating as you wash the filth of the pit off of yourself. You had been feeling a bit self-conscious wandering around the decks in your filthy clothes when everything on board otherwise seemed neat and organized. To wash it all away helped make the memories of the pit fade a little bit. Now, you are stepping into the dangerous new role Kazazel has picked out for you. Eventually, you emerge clean and dressed. Kazazel is speaking with a stern-looking human woman when you reach the common area. She has dark hair that frames her face nicely and ends a little below her jawline. It's difficult to tell her age. At first glance, her face seems youthful but her hard eyes belied years of experience. It's possible that rejuvenation treatments might be available on this boat if you climb high enough in the rank. My friend, oh, you're looking a bit more dapper than you were. No longer covered in pit filth, eh? I was just having a little chat with Teresa Ardoom here about your trinket. She's the one who's been kind enough to search for likely buyers. At the moment, the three of us are the only ones in on this deal. Now, we could bring in some others if you like, but then we are getting smaller shares of loot for ourselves. Now, you have had some time to think about which seller you're most interested in. Tell me, what is your plan? You express a preference for the mysterious collector, even if there's more risk in dealing with an unknown figure. There's also opportunity to acquire particularly rare and valuable tech. You also suggest the possibility of dealing with the Tau and humans and then double-crossing them for profit. Ooh, I like the initiative, my friend. But I haven't been a pirate for 5,000 years by going back on my promises. If I accept a bribe from a planetary governor to stop harassing his traders, then I stop. If a planet offers us safe harbor and a place to unload stolen goods, I'm going to play nice with them as long as they play nice with me. Why make enemies when I can make money? I have absolutely no qualms with murder, theft, debauchery, torture, and all those lovely, lovely vices. 
but being a liar is bad for business. I don't go back on my agreements. If I'm unreliable, then no one will deal with me. Now, let me put this very plainly, my friend, and give you fair warning. You, me, and everyone on this crew, we are all in an agreement. If you try to put a knife in my back, you had better make sure that I am dead. Because if you try to kill me and fail, if you break our agreement, let's just say that I've dealt with my fair share of traitors over the years, and dealing with each one has helped me expand my capacity for cruelty. Hm. Your speech gets better every time, Captain. Thank you, darling. I do my best. And my friend, don't think that you're trapped here. Oh, you've already earned your freedom with that towel trinket. If you want off at the next safe port of harbour, I'm happy to oblige. Once we go our separate ways, oh, you're welcome to try to kill me with no hard feelings when the agreement is over. But I think our course has been chosen. So, what do you think, my friend? Shall we bring along some extra muscle in case things go poorly? Or shall we keep this between the three of us for a nicer haul? You are the hero of this story, and it's time for you to make difficult choices. In the community tab of this channel, there will be a poll of options. You're also welcome to make suggestions in the comment section below. So, do you plan to eventually stab Kazazel in the back? Or do you want to work with him and pillage the riches of the galaxy? Do you want to bring along some extra muscle for the exchange with a mysterious buyer? Or do you want to keep the loot between yourself, Kazazel, and Teresa? The choice is yours.